For this reason, in this study, the results provide accuracy interpreter at point LE4, SP36, SP6. Uh, the picture, the, the picture in uh, lokasi, at lokasi accuracy. Accuracy is is used to reduce pencil pain, can increase level of endocrine. Jadi kalau dia habis waktu This will provide a stimulus to the endocrine to release endocrine according to the body's needs and is expected to reduce pain during menstruation. The calculation uh, based on the result, it can be concluded that three are different before and after the administration of acupressure therapy in overcoming this memory. Pain in adolescent girl on tulang balong tengah based on the conclusion of the study, researcher guess suggest that young woman can use acupressure therapy as an alternative treatment to treat this memory because this method is cheap, safe, has no side effect, and is easy to do anytime and anywhere. Kita pun bisa melakukannya pada saat ini. Thank you.
Sa lahat. Good afternoon, everyone. I am Jeremy Esfridaid, and I am from Mindanao State University, Ligan of Institute, Ligan Institute of Technology from the Philippines. So thank you for this wonderful opportunity to be able to present our study entitled Diabet, an approach to improve diabetic self-care management. So this is actually a collaborative study, and I am the project leader. So to give you a brief background of why the project or the study has been conducted, so allow me to give you a brief um, current diabetes status quo. So in 2016, 6 million has already been diagnosed with diabetes. In fact, the age group is getting younger from 20 to 79 years old according to the Department of Health in 2017. In fact, Philippines is considered as the diabetes hotspot in Western Pacific region in 2018. And this disease prevalence is projected to increase about 20% by 2045 if this trend will not be curtailed. And it is considered as one of the top 10 causes of mortality in our city in 2016. So who among you here have family members or friends who are diagnosed with diabetes? No. Yes. Did you know that diabetes is the mother of all diseases? Because it causes cardiovascular diseases, it causes blindness, what else, kidney diseases, even food ulcer that could later lead to amputation if not treated well. However, good thing, according to World Health Organization, it can be prevented, all of these can be prevented by what? Proper monitoring of blood glucose levels, healthy lifestyle, and effective pharmacological treatment. Yes. In this study, the research team acknowledged that mobile technologies potential to improve management of diabetes. According to Comstock in 2014, the number of people using mobile apps on diabetes will increase to 24 million. And we acknowledge that in today's current um, trend, which is the Industry Revolution 4.0, we created a project, a research project, and we call it Project Diabet. And it is, it has three components. The purpose of the, the project is to facilitate compliance and improve self-care management of participants with diabetes in Barangay Santa Filomena in the Ligan City. So the first component of, of the project is actually a mobile app. So we call it Diabet App. Diabet stands for Diabetic Electronic Health Tool App. This is actually the first in the Philippines. There are a lot of mobile applications available worldwide, but this is the first in the Philippines. And this is the limited for Android users only, since this is just a pilot app, particularly Android 5.0 from Lollipop to Oreo. This has been evaluated and validated by selected diabetologists in Elegant City, and we created a user's manual to guide the users on the use of the app. So we have here the features of the app, the medication alarm and health teaching, blood glucose monitoring tool, health education, random reminder, 
So it is it, like um, Facebook that will pop out anytime and will remind you on your medications and what else to check. And then data bank for your for your glucose monitoring and then it can be used online or offline, so with or without internet. So the second component of the project is a weekly support group. It is like a weekly lecture series. This is conducted every Fridays from 8.30 to 10.30 a.m. So the, the program starts with a registration, and then we have a weekly glucose monitoring, and then the participants will have Zumba session for a maximum of 15 minutes. Then they have lecture series, with, which would span around 30 to 45 minutes. Then they have breakout sessions or distressing activities for 15 to 30 minutes. Then we end up with announcements and other reminders. So we have here the topics for the weekly. We have job start program, lecture on diabetes about the disease in general. We have the blood, blood glucose monitoring. We taught them how to use the glucose strips and how they should properly monitor their, their blood glucose. They have also lecture on the diet, the proper diet, they have free consultations and they were given free oral medications only. And they have lectures on hygiene, food care, and wood care. So for a total of six weeks, the last component of the project is the diet booth. This is just a booth because one of the problems that has been identified in the community is the, the problem with uh, monitoring their blood glucose. They haven't monitored their blood glucose ever since their last visit with their doctors. So imagine. So we, we, we collaborated with the government and a private institution to be able to materialize this booth. So this offers the community glucometer and its strips. So let's go to the discussion, the methodology. So the design is the pre-experimental research design, one group pre-test, post-test research design. So our participants are medically diagnosed with diabetes regardless of the type. And they should have Android phones or smartphones, and they should be present for the entire six weeks. The sampling technique, we use purposive sampling, and the instruments, we use the app, and the questionnaires, the modified questionnaires. For the results, the mean system usability of the diabet is 83.67. That indicates that the app had a clear, clean and cluttered screen design. Therefore, it is generally good, and is usable and very useful for all the users. And then we have here the significant difference of the participants' healthcare management before and after the intervention. As you can see, after the intervention, the values are increased, and the difference are all significant. Therefore, the intervention, the intervention has significantly improved diabetic participants' compliance to self-care activities. And then lastly, we have the significant difference in their blood glucose before and after. As you can see, their blood glucose have reduced. And it is significant, the reduction is significant, therefore the project is significantly reduced the blood sugar and improved their glycemic control. So in conclusion, the project with three components, the weekly lectures, the app, and the availability of the dying booth has strengthened and improved the self-care management of the participants. The app, the first in the Philippines, has greatly contributed to the participants' enhanced self-care management of their diabetes, it is cost-effective and efficient, efficient partner of healthcare providers. In the advent of technology and rising popularity of smartphones, nurses can take advantage of this innovation and consider integration into patient care. So for future studies, uh, it is recommended that further studies should be done to ensure sustainable incorporation and application into various settings, and then to solve other user problems that were reported by the users. And then for healthcare providers, this can be considered and incorporated in planning for strategies and interventions in managing diabetes. So I think that is all Project Diabetes Towards a Healthier Philippines. I am the master of my diabetes. Thank you, everyone. Study effectiveness of tea tree, melalioca, alternifolia, essential oil, and jojoba carrier oil through topical application and the relief of allergies caused by allergens. So to give you a brief background, the rate of allergies has increased over the past 20 years. 
In fact, Filipinos, around 20% of them, have problems with allergic rhinitis. So in our university, MSU IIT, allergic or allergies caused by aero allergens has is considered one of the top three complaints of the college students in our university. So it has caused discomfort and affected the quality of life of many students in aspects of sleep, school, and social life. The current management of allergy, the aero uh, are allergies caused by aero allergens. We have the environmental control measures, avoidance of allergens, pharmacological management, and immunotherapy. However, this is costly, especially the, the pharmacological management, and it costs a lot of risk. So, acknowledging that, we have considered a less costly and less risky method, such as the use of aromatherapy in this study. So, the objectives of the study is to determine the effectiveness of topical application aromatherapy as an alternative method for relieving allergic symptoms experienced by individuals which are caused by aero allergens. Specifically, to determine the significant difference in the severity and frequency of the allergic symptoms before and after the use of the combination oil. So the research design, we use the pre-experimental one group pre-test and post-test research design. The study was conducted in our university with 30 college students who were positive with allergies triggered by aero allergens. And they're at least 18 years old and they have not, they have no history of using any type of essential oil. Okay, so for the results, for the severity, as you can see, the post-test have lower values. So this means that the severity have decreased. And this difference are all significant, as you can see in the p-value, less than 0.05. For the frequency, this is counted, the number of times they experience the symptoms, the following symptoms per week. And as you can see, the post-test values have smaller values compared to the pre-test. So this indicates that the frequency have also reduced. And the difference is also significant, except for wheezing and shortness of breath. For the conclusion, the combination oil composed of tea tree oil with 2% dilution and jojoba carrier oil when applied topically to the hot spots such as at the back of your ears, temples, inner wrists, and in your near chest can result in a reduction in the severity of the allergic symptoms such as watery nose, nasal congestion, runny nose, nasal itching, sneezing, coughing, chest tightness, wheezing, shortness of breath, and flood production. It also resulted in a significant reduction of the frequency of the same symptoms except for wheezing and shortness of breath. So for the recommendations for future researchers, further study to a larger sample size and longer duration should be done to ensure stronger and accurate results for medical practitioners to include or consider topical aromatherapy in their tre treatment regimen and also for nurses to disseminate the use of aromatherapy to individuals or even in the community who have all allergies but does not want to manage it pharmacologically or does not have access to anti-allergy medications. I think that is all. Thank you for listening.